Technology is changing our lives every day in almost every way. I'm Holland Cook in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show, and this is the big picture on RT America. Do you know what this is? If you guess Bitcoin, you are incorrect because Bitcoin is not a thing, it's cryptocurrency, it's an idea. You'll often see tokens like this used when people are talking about Bitcoin. And for this same reason, several years ago, what was the Consumer Electronics Association changed its name to Consumer Technology Association. Much of what we are seeing here doesn't come in a box. They are experiences, not just gadgets and your least favorite experience might be air travel. Airports are outdated. You know, they were built for an era of the 1960s, and we are investing billions of dollars in infrastructure, trying to modernize, trying to create better capacity, better amenities at the gate, and the technology that we're deploying at the same time is helping them to navigate so that they can get to the gate more efficiently. We know a lot of the stress of air travel resides on the ground, and our opportunity to eliminate that stress or minimize as best as possible is where we're focused on. Delta had passengers wear Fitbits and monitored their blood pressure, noting changes during tough weather, traffic to the airport and parking there, boarding with carry-on bags and other travel stresses. Resulting tech initiatives are all about personalization. Soon, you could have your bags picked up at home and sent directly to your destination hotel. The Fly Delta app might tell you, due to traffic, we'd like to order you a lift. And you can use the app to pay for extras like this with your Sky Miles. You'll even be able to start your in-flight movie as soon as you're checked in at the airport. There's an old joke Bob Hope used to tell. He says, I love to fly. I've been almost as many places as my luggage. And Forward X has a product called Ovis that I'm going to let you describe because I wish I thought of this. Perfect, thank you. So Ovis is the world's first AI-powered suitcase. It follows you everywhere, especially at airport. When you're rushing to the gates, and you have a cup of coffee, you have a phone with your hands, you don't want to go with the luggage, you know? You just want to walk to the gate without any stress. Here we come, we have Ovis. Let's take a walk through the airport with R2-D2 behind me. If you watch our show, you know this face. If you listen to talk radio, you know the voice. He's become our tech go-to guy on the big picture. Into Tomorrow radio show host, Dave Graveline. Happy 25th. This is your 25th year yep. on air. That's very true and, and, and loving it. Well, think back to CES 1995. Mm. What was hot then? This brand new thing called DVD was the latest, greatest. Everybody wanted to know more about it. How, will we ever have it in our homes? Is this something really cool? And what does it stand for? Uh, that was the big thing when we first did our first broadcast. From and here. furniture makers were making shelves the size of DVDs and CDs, yeah. all of which are now uh, cocktail coasters yes. because we stream. Mm -hmm. So back to the future, look around in 2020, what's hot now? Everything wearable, it would seem. Everything fitness-oriented, certainly. Uh, Bluetooth, because it's been around for so long, but now every product, it seems, is incorporated. And this weird, goofy name, IoT, this Internet of Things. Uh, devices talking to devices. Yeah, correct. Yeah. I mean, it's that's probably all the big stuff. Yeah, you got the TVs, you got the 292-inch that was introduced here. I mean, how big is big enough? You know? Yeah, every weekend, Dave is on a couple of hundred stations across the USA and around the world. If there's not one near you, you can hear and see his show at intotomorrow.com. So here's the big question. What are your callers asking you lately? What are their interests, their concerns, their tech frustrations? Great question, Holland, because lately, especially after Christmas gifts, holiday gifts that they received, how do I work this thing? What do I do with it? This is really neat, but how do I get more out of it? Whatever it happens to be, it's all about cool new stuff and how do I best use it? And smart home technology. 
anything and everything. Used to be just open the blinds, maybe dim the lights. Now it's everything around the house. And Alexa is listening before I say her name, right? Always. Otherwise, how would she know I said her name? <laughs> Amazon is everywhere here, though often invisible as its cloud powers so many new applications. But in next year's GM cars, you can say, Alexa, pay for gas. It's a cashless transaction at 11,000 Exxon and Mobil stations. Stuff like this will be commonplace with 5G service, already up and running in some places and in all major USA cities in 2020. 4G enabled routine changers like Uber and transformed music, streaming obsoleting CDs. Much higher 5G speeds will do that to video. Facial recognition will literally open doors. So why is 5G taking so long? FCC Chairman Ajit Pai says help wanted installers to climb towers in demand in the full employment economy. Oh, there's so much going on in 5G. Um, we've got tablet devices for agricultural use where you can use a drone and control the drone and look at your livestock and know are my livestock where they should be. Um, I can control farming equipment. I can utilize it in hospitality. But one of my personal favorites is what we do with our first responder community and in particular EMTs. They're out there to save lives. And so we've developed a product focused around, they need their hands. So this is a product that you can wear, you can touch it, you can have a video camera to see what's going on and feed that information in real time using Kyocera's 5G solution to save your life. We are Team Orbi and uh, today on CS 2020, we are presenting our 360 video recording 5G helmet for the American football. This helmet requires a really huge bandwidth to deliver the video to the end customer, and the only way to do this is 5G. Uh, so now where 5G became available, uh, we use this 5G to deliver this. If you own an iPad, this may be a recurring nightmare. But the company is Catalyst, and their product claims to be... Hands down, the most waterproof case on the market. Now this demo caught our eye. And I asked Jennifer to take the challenge. We dared her to dunk her iPhone in. Watch what happens. This is my own iPhone. <laughs> Not just a hype. Well, welcome to the farm. This is the GrowPod Smart Garden. So we fully automate the entire growing process using a proprietary form of hydroponics called rotary aeroponics. So the grow pod is actually able to yield a full serving of greens on a daily basis. No pesticides, higher yield, less water. We fell in love with the technology because it democratizes agriculture. It doesn't matter what your climate is, it doesn't matter what the environment's like outside or the soil quality in your region, we could actually allow you to have a portable agricultural farm in the consumer's home. And to wash it down, if you thought the K-Cups made coffee convenient, get a load of Drinkworks. Tell us how it works. The Drinkworks Home Bar by Keurig is made by Drinkworks, which is a joint venture between Anheuser-Busch and Keurig. And our first appliance, the Drinkworks Home Bar, actually makes uh, cocktails, beer, wine, and more available at the touch of a button. So we have, there's a chilling block, there's also carbonation, which makes over two dozen cocktails available to any consumer, anytime by just entering the pod into the Drinkworks machine, pushing the button and garnishing it when it comes out. After ducking drones here for the last several years, we saw Hyundai launch, literally, its urban air mobility division. They call it a personal air vehicle, the flying car. I'm super excited to announce Hyundai's solution for this new era. I proudly present to you our first eVTOL concept vehicles, SA1. It can carry up to four passengers with a pilot, and it's ideal for inner city travel, but can also serve rural residents. The final version of the vehicle revealed here will be produced at automotive scale, and when deployed into our shared ecosystem, we expect it to achieve quiet safe, reliable, and efficient performance in markets all around the world. 
One of the coolest aspects of CES is the imaginative characters exhibiting here. Idea people, many of them the actual inventors, showing off new product prototypes. So our product here is called Exo Rehab. So this product is innovative because it has a functional electrical stimulation with two biosignal detection systems. One is EMG and ROM. All at the same one product and then we control it by tablet and also the doctors and therapists can see and browse by the web page. Wazen is a smart home device, the first of its kind that turns any existing sliding glass door into an automatic app controlled pet door better than regular traditional doggy doors where you have to cut holes in your wall or cut holes in the glass door. With Wazen, it takes minutes to install the product, doesn't damage the door, uses two-sided tape, and it just works. You can open your door at home automatically like a regular pet door or remotely when you're away for the day, you have anxiety about letting your pet out, you can look at your app, get notified through your security camera that they want to go in or out, let them in and out of the house uh, automatically. Indigo Vision is here at CES 2020, and what we've developed is an innovative anti-blue light phone and tablet case. The harmful effects of blue light are digital eye strain, macular degeneration, headaches, migraines, and blurry eyes. And so what we have here is a case that effectively blocks 85% of that light. Our product protects you 85% from those harmful rays. Uh, so there, there are many studies that show that sun glare causes more traffic accidents than all other weather conditions combined. So more than rain and snow and fog. So those, those are, uh, it, it's kind of an underappreciated problem. So sun glare is there twice a day, every day, low on the horizon. And every driver has to deal with it at some point. So it's a problem that we've all had to face. So this is our product that we're debuting at CES called the Virtual Visor. It replaces your traditional sun visor with a transparent liquid crystal display together with a driver monitoring camera, and it only blocks the part of the sun visor where the sun would be hitting your eyes. That lets you see through about 90% of the sun visor, allowing you to see things like street lights or traffic lights, and it increases the safety of the vehicle. When I say technology, you of course think Ivanka Trump, right? This is the big picture on RT America. Consumer Technology Association CEO Gary Shapiro says the only certainty is disruption. In his fireside chat with Ivanka Trump, she declared that innovation is a net job producer. She does not think four-year college is the key, and she advocates apprenticeships and what she calls reskilling. And she talked about enabling the disabled with robotic arms and other technology and reintegrating ex-convicts into the workforce. And despite her father's controversial immigration stance, the first daughter and White House advisor advocates a practical approach. We need to recruit and retain the greatest talent in the world um, to help us grow and innovate, but we need to invest in American workers and um, reach over to the sidelines, draw them into our workforce and equip them with the skills that they need to serve. To, to thrive, and we can't just seek to import that. Because the greatest investment we can make is in the next generation of this country, our kids, and it's very, very expensive raising children, especially at a time, and now this is changing, but especially at a time when wages have stagnated and the cost of childcare was skyrocketing. What are the barriers that exist today for people to be able to provide for themselves and their families. The reality is things have changed pretty rapidly in recent decades. Women now are 47% of the American workforce. In 40% of American homes, women are the primary breadwinners. And so while paid parental leave is not a women's issue, um, we're fighting for it to apply to mothers and fathers, adoptive parents. Nearly 200,000 of us have come here from all over the world and we're all grown-ups, but there's plenty here for the kiddos. This is Roy B. It's an educational robot for kids age 3 to 7 in language learning and basic STEM. It is conversational, so the kids can actually talk with it, respond back, it encourages them to talk more. comes with over 500 lessons, songs, stories on a daily basis. So 
this is artificial intelligence that will yield real intelligence and munchkins, huh? Absolutely. So it is AI powered and what it does is gradually it will focus on the child's ability and interest so it can adjust the content based on that. We want to really focus on the child's ability because no longer one size fit is it's, uh, you know, something that we should focus on. Especially on the education system, it is still a little bit traditional and we really want to impact that. It's not fun if it's not a game, right? Absolutely. Botley 2.0, Botley the coding robot, award-winning robot. We're teaching coding skills to kids as young as five. The idea here is sequential logic, problem solving, critical thinking, really important STEM skills. So all, it's 100% screen free. All the coding is done just by button presses on the remote programmer. So I'm gonna code Botley to go from this blue board to this orange board and spin around. We just clear it out, go forward, turn right a bunch of times, and transmit. And Botley's a smart robot, so it knows what to do. And off it goes. There are acres of health-related technology on display here. Amron Healthcare is here at CES because we're transforming the heart health marketplace. We've got great inventions like HeartGuide, one of the time best inventions of 2019, and we also have Amron Complete, which was the winner of uh, one of the CES Innovation Awards. We want to make sure that there's a blood pressure monitor for each of the 103 million U.S. adults that has hypertension. We want everybody to know and watch their numbers. The Consumer Technology Association projects that in three years, wearable technology will be the second biggest tech product category, surpassed only by smartphones. And here at CES, we're seeing fitness devices, hearable wearables, connected watches, and head-mounted displays. Lots of products here help you get a better night's sleep. One headband helps increase your brain waves to help you fall asleep faster and cut sleep interruption by half. And mom and dad would really appreciate the baby sleeping through the night and in the car. So this is not just random rocking motion. No, not at all. We actually put sensor vests on new parents and watch as they comforted and soothed their baby. And we were able to mimic those motions into five unique motions in the bassinet and about your stinky shoes. Shoe Blast is a dehumidifier as well as a sterilizer uh, for shoes and universally for all shoes as well, not just athletic or any dress shoes. Um, it sterilizes using UV light um, and disinfects 99.9% .9 of all germs using uh, infrared light as well as um, UV light. And then dehumidifies by using this heat conduction fan that reaches up to optimal 50 degrees Celsius as well. Once you come home, you can just put your shoes right aside and you can just pop in these. They're portable as well, and you're gonna place it right here. And then it has a auto uh, humidity sensor, so you're gonna put it on auto mode. It's gonna detect how long or how intervals you wanna do it. If you feel like you wanna do it longer, then you can just put it on intervals up to three hours as well. Opti is a precision skincare system. It scans, detects, and corrects hyperpigmentation. Okay, hyperpigmentation is the politest way I've ever heard of saying age spots, right? Yes, that's right. Let's give it a try. All right. Come in. Wow. You know, the only person on RT America who's older than I am is Larry King. So this is the acid test. You can't imitate beef. It just tastes better. Have you had Burger King's meatless Impossible Burger? That was just the appetizer. We're using our food technology platform to fold into different food products across the world, pork, chicken, fish, dairy, eggs, in order to establish uh, our product as the future of the global food system and replace animal agriculture. We have to showcase this in every avenue available in, in meat choices. United States Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao told us that automated vehicles have the potential to save thousands of lives annually and improve the quality of life through reduction of traffic congestion, increased productivity, and environmental benefits. Audi Amy is a level four autonomous car. We have both simulations being um, um, displayed here as well. Also, we have the steering wheel, more like a steering unit. And if you, if you, if the car is maybe on the autonomous mode, it gives you this kind of physical system we call it. The tray 
in the perfect position where you can maybe read a book or you can use uh, something for, for work. Mm -hmm. These are opportunities we want to share as soon as possible. For us it's also very important to get the feedback by the customer, by the public, how ready everybody is already for that. But these specific um, um, concept cars we did the last two years show some opportunities, but it doesn't mean that everything what we did here will 100% be in production. While we may not yet feel comfortable in a driverless robo-car, what's on display here is demonstrating the pace of innovation with genuine, with actual transparency. All the pieces of the new tech vehicle are on display here as manufacturers are actually reinventing the wheel. We had someone ask earlier, why is a tire company at CES? And we said, well, that's a really great, great question. For us, the future is to not be a tire company. The future is to be a solutions company. So we see, think, look at the last 30 years, and we see the innovation and change that's happened in those 30 years. We think we're going to see more than that in the next 10 years. And so we're showcasing things like that here at the show that focus on extending mobility of vehicles, increasing the efficiency of a fleet, and even increase safety of vehicles by making them smarter. Rear and side view mirrors, now they're video screens. Imagine a car that delivers a completely new experience which combines an inside out design philosophy with an outside in approach to connecting passengers and environment. This car showcases new ideas of communication. For instance, by using its bionic flaps. The inventor of Unagi calls this the iPhone of scooters, and you can actually customize yours on the iPhone? Correct. Our scooter is the lightest, most portable electric scooter in the world. And starting tomorrow, you'll be able to customize this like a pair of Nike sneakers. And we have these gorgeous patterns and again, this is not a wrap. This is impregnated directly into the metal. Warren Banholzer is with the Money Pit Home Improvement Radio Show, the number one home improvement radio show on talk radio on over 300 stations. So you are the ear, the eye of home tech. What do you see here that is new, that is interesting? Well, Holland, we've been seeing for years the, uh, the growth of smart home. And it's really come of age. We're seeing that everything is connected now. Everything, it's not just your light bulbs, it's not just your switches and your security cameras. Which lawn mowers are on the Wi-Fi. We've right? got, we got lawn mowers. We've got <laughs> everything you can think of is now connected and, and as it should be. You got your phone, you want to know what's going on in your home, you can get that feedback. You can find out what's going on with your home. Your, the, the water in your home. Several manufacturers here have automatic shutoff valves. Energy sensors, Sense has a great monitor, so you can actually monitor what in your home is using all the electricity and get new habits and learn from that and adjust your habits to save energy. You know what I was surprised to find here is keys and locks, seems to me they're obsolete. Isn't your phone going to admit you to your home isn't there a facial scan that is just over the horizon? Oh, I think we're there. Uh, my own home, we don't use keys anymore. There's um, hundreds of manufacturers now where you can just use a keypad or, to your point, so you're already there. Your phone, just your proximity with your geofencing with your phone. It'll open the door on your arrival. You can program for the sitter to come and go when you want her to. She so can't get in in the middle of the night as you don't want your sitter coming in the middle of the night. You can give access to guests and house guests. It's if FedEx guy comes, you can let him in. Amazon with Chamberlain, they've got a new partnership where you can actually have Amazon have access just to your garage. You know, if you have a property that's more than just the front yard and the backyard, and if you want to know what's happening, you heard a noise in the middle of the night, you want to be able to observe it, you will likely need to install a bunch of cameras, in some cases a dozen cameras. That is not only expensive, but those cameras are violating your privacy constantly. Our system is an on-demand observation system. The drone flies out only when you need it to, and it looks wherever it needs to. It's much easier to install. It gives you comprehensive coverage of up to four acres of land. And if a drone flies out and there's somebody on your property that shouldn't be there, trust me, they're not going to stay for very long.
in the home, I would expect Walker to be able to provide any kind of service scenario that you need, whether it's uh, perhaps doing some cleaning for you, maybe carrying heavy objects for you, even upstairs perhaps, or if you're hanging out on the couch and want Walker to bring you a, a drink, it can open up the refrigerator and do that. I should also point out that for some use cases, like say, um, working with elderly in the home, there's a particularly good use because for an elderly person who may not be able to do some things on his or her own, Walker can be there to help them. And that is the big picture from the massive, mind-boggling consumer electronics show in Las Vegas. Now we're heading west to show off RT's brand new studio with next week's show. Until then, I'm Holland Cook. Question more.